Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, I got another Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village video for you guys. I hope you guys are all doing great. And today guys, we're just going to be talking about some leaks. So take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. And other than that, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video guys, I mean, please drop a like, subscribe, and let me know, it'll let me know that you guys are supporting the channel and like the recent videos. Thank you so much for your support. All right, so Resident Evil looks like it's going to have three playable characters. We already know Ethan Winters is going to be the main character. His objective in the game is to find his daughter, Rosemary, which seems to be captured and be put in this ginormous castle. And well, he seems he's gonna be the main character. The game will obviously be heavily centered around Ethan, but the second character who has been talked about and is most likely going to end up being the second protagonist that you play as is Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield has been in a majority of the Resident Evil games. And while it's no brainer, he'll probably be able to pl be playable in Resident Evil Village. He has been heavily marketed in the game's story. In one of the trailers, he is shooting Mia and he does end up taking rosemary ethan's daughter um what has not been said yet is how does ethan's daughter end up being captured and taken and held in the castle uh, and i mean i just want to know what events lead to chris coming to ethan and shooting me i would love to see that maybe as a dlc i wouldn't be surprised if they do but um that could be discussed later one person that can back up that chris is going to be in the game as a playable character is highly credited leaker aesthetic gamer who has been accurate in the past about resident evil 8 leaks leading up to its reveal someone asked him on twitter if chris will be a playable character during the game and he responded by saying yes he will be a playable character during the game in what capacity is still unknown again i really want to emphasize to take everything with a grain of salt so wrapping up all the information on chris redfield we're going to be talking about the third playable character which seems to be the farmer girl uh again i don't know really much to refer to her everyone is thinking that she is the maiden from the gameplay trailer which is confirmed to not be ethan it is actually a separate character uh, the third character which is being referred to as the Maiden because the gameplay demo is referring to her name uh, which has been confirmed to not be Ethan like I said earlier. The info has not been revealed yet and um, yeah so for me personally I mean I'm excited to see them go in this direction where you can play as Chris. Chris is going to be like in his early his late 40s early 50s at this point i mean he's a pretty old guy and especially back from resident evil 5 when he punches a boulder i mean that's crazy to think about but um I, I just i'm really curious to see how they integrate chris's story into resident evil why is he stalking ethan what was left off at resident evil 7 all i'm just really hyped for the game and i would love to see where the story leads us but other than that guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video and if you guys did drop a like but other than that i'll catch you guys later peace out